Oh my god. Oh my god. This is a good one. What is up everybody? Fish Hawk here. Today I'm at this small pond. We're going to do some fishing. I will be fishing with some homemade lures that a subscriber made and sent to me. I'm going to show you guys the lures and then we're going to get to fishing. Should be fun. Should be challenging. Stay tuned. Here is the first homemade lure. This is actually made from a toothbrush. As you can see, put some hooks in there. Put a little eye there to tie your line onto. This should be very interesting. I'm thinking this is going to be sort of like a crankbait or a jerkbait, but we'll see. Second lure I have here is a cork with a glass bottle cap on the front. Looks like a topwater popper. Got a treble hook off the back and a treble hook underneath. I think this is going to catch some fish, but we'll see. The third lure is an actual spoon. I know a lot of people do fish with spoons, but those spoons are made for fishing. This is made for eating, but we're going to fish with it. And uh, I have a good feeling about this. I think it's going to catch a fish. It looks really good. It's got a little holographic sticker on there. Pretty awesome. The fourth lure is a bottle cap that's been smashed in half. And it has some weights inside. And then, of course, you got your barrel swivel to tie your line onto. And then a treble hook on the back. Last but not least, we have a hook with some paracord rope melted to it. It reminds me a lot of a fly. I expect to probably catch bluegill or crappie on this, but I definitely think it's going to work. All right, which lure are we going to use first? I'm thinking the toothbrush because the sun is still up and uh, still pretty bright. So I'm going to fish a little deeper water and target a little deeper water with this toothbrush. I'm just going to tie a polymer knot on this bad boy. Oh my god, fish on one. First cast. Oh my god, it's a crappie. Holy crap. I was not expecting to catch a crappie on the freaking toothbrush. Beautiful fish on the toothbrush. See you, buddy. One fish down already on the toothbrush. This thing looks awesome underwater, guys. I'm going to show you right here in the shallow water what it looks like. But it basically looks like a jerk bait. You can just kind of twitch it and it just darts back and forth and it sinks. The next thing I want to try is the spoon. Um, the sun is still out, still bright, so the fish Maybe a little deeper, and I want to make sure that I can get down there to them. So I'm going to try this bad boy. This ought to be interesting. Spoon is tied on. Let's see what this baby can do. Oh my god, this thing looks crazy underwater. I'm going to have so much twist in my line. This is not good. I'm going to have to put a barrel swivel on. Or this is going to ruin the line. Alright boys, we're back in action. Got a barrel swivel tied on. Because this spoon puts a ton of twist in your line. And this spoon looks so good underwater. Especially when you stop reeling it. It just flutters down. It looks like a dying fish. About to make a move around the pond. Go to some different spots. Alright, let's go around. See what we can do here. Oh, right at the bank. <laughs> yes. Yes, I knew. I knew that I could catch one on the spoon. I mean, it just looks too good. It literally looks like a big spinner bait coming through the water. Not a big guy, but we caught a fish on the spoon. Look at that. That's awesome. Not a monster, but man, I was reeling it right down. I cast parallel to the bank and just brought it right down through here. And he came out from under that limb right here at the edge of the water, just came out from the bank and smacked it. See ya buddy. Alright guys, we're not doing too bad. We've caught two fish so far. We caught a crappie on the toothbrush and we've caught a bass on the spoon here. 
Um, I'm gonna go ahead and switch it up. We have three baits left that I have not caught a fish on. I'm gonna go ahead and tie the bottle cap lure on. All right, guys, the next lure I have tied on here is the bottle cap lure. Let's see how she does. Actually kind of looks like a kind of a crankbait if you just reel it steady. It just kind of shimmies real slow. I'm just gonna try a slow, steady retrieve. All right, let's move around here. All right, we're down here in the corner. This is where the spillway is. There should be some fish. Oh, fish on. On the bottle cap, boys. On the bottle cap. Fish on. Yes. What is it? What is it? Oh, oh. Oh, oh no. What is it? It's got to be a big bluegill. Oh my god. That is a monster bluegill. Look at that, guys. <laughs> on the freaking bottle cap. Big old bluegill. See you, buddy. <laughs> Man, that was awesome. So we caught a crappy on the toothbrush. We caught a bass on the spoon. And we caught a bluegill on the bottle cap. So what we have left here is this topwater popping cork and this little guy, this little paracord lure. We got three baits down, two to go. All right guys, I just realized that my mic is not working. I am now using the external mic on the GoPro. The quality is not gonna be as good, but we're just gonna have to make do. The next lure I'm using is the paracord lure. It's a piece of paracord rope melted onto a hook. I have it on my spinning combo. This is a PC Fun Carbon X reel, uh, six foot six medium rod. I think we're gonna catch probably a bluegill or maybe a crappy on this. Fish one. Oh my God. Oh my God. Massive bluegill, massive. Oh my God. On the paracord lure. Holy crap, this guy absolutely annihilated that freaking lure. <laughs> Look at that. Drilled him on the paracord lure. Look at that fish. Beautiful. Big old mouth on it. See you later. We have caught a fish on every lure except for the popping cork lure. That one was tough because it was really hard to cast, but the action on it and the way it looks and the way it falls just looks amazing. The sun is setting, but we still have time to try and catch a fish on the old popping cork. Gotta work quickly. All right, guys, this is the only lure we have not caught a fish on yet. Let's make it happen. Oh my God, fish on. No, it came off. Oh my God, it was a bass too. It freaking came off. You've gotta be kidding me. Fish one. I got a fish, boys. Oh my god, I got a fish. I got a fish. Stay on. Stay on. It's a bass. Stay on. Stay on. I'm gonna flip him. Oh yes! We freaking did it! We freaking did it! Yes! Oh my god. Oh my god, it just popped out. It just freaking popped out absolutely crazy on the popping cork not a big one but man that made my day we have caught a fish on every single homemade lure that is awesome unbelievable thank you so much buddy thank you so much <gasps> oh guys i'm so happy right now get a release on this feller see you buddy oh, i'm gonna see if i can catch another one after that Man, that got me so pumped up. See if I can get another long cast over there to that spot. That's where they're hanging out. Oh my God. Oh my God. This is a good one. This is a good one. This is a good one. On the cork, on the cork, on the cork. No, don't get, don't get off, don't get off, don't get off. Don't get off, don't get off, don't get off, don't get off, don't get off. Don't get off, please don't get off. Ah! 
Oh my God, I got him. I got him, guys. I got him. I saw a wake just coming for this bait. A wake out of nowhere. A giant wake from this fish, and he just came and destroyed it. Yes. Oh my God. This is a good fish, guys. <laughs> That's a good fish. <laughs> oh my God. As soon as the sun went down, these guys started feeding. Look at that. Right in the corner of the mouth. This is a good one. This is a good fish. Right in the corner of the mouth. Look at that. Got it out. All right, boys. Skinny fish, and I mean skinny. But look at the head on that thing. Two bass on the old popping cork. Awesome. I think I'm gonna end it on that, guys. All right, guys, that is gonna do it for today. What an amazing day of fishing. Catching fish on homemade lures made from household items. A toothbrush, a bottle cap, a cork, a piece of rope, a spoon. So rewarding to catch fish on those types of lures because it is such a challenge. You really do have to try, and I love these types of challenges that really make you try because it feels so good when you succeed and catch fish. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. If you're new to my channel and you enjoyed this video, please hit the subscribe button. If you have any questions or comments, drop them in the comments section. As always, thank you so much for watching. Fish Hawk out.